Hey guys, I'm your friend Chetan Bhula and you are watching Bhula Moto. In this video, we will be discussing about the piston rings, why they are used, what are the advantages, what are these three piston rings. So we will be discussing almost everything about the piston rings. So please keep watching this video till the end. If you are new to the channel or didn't subscribe it till now, so please subscribe it right now. Please hit the bell again for notifications of these videos. So there are basically three piston ring in almost every engine. Previously in two stroke engine there were two piston rings I have seen so uh, that might be because of because uh, they are lubricating the engine only by mixing the oil and the fuel but in four stroke it is quite it is completely different so that's why they use three piston rings. The first piston ring is the compression ring the, and the second piston ring is the intermediate ring and the third piston ring is the oil scraper ring. As the name just suggests first ring compression ring is for maintaining the compression and sealing the combustion chamber so that the uh, th there will be no leakage of that pressure into the into the crankcase so in that way it is going to prevent uh, or it is going to build up higher pressure and one more thing that it does is it just transmits the heat which is generated over the piston crown to the cylinder walls so in that way it is doing two functions when one is sealing the compression uh, compression chamber combustion chamber and another is it is transmitting the heat uh, it is uh, sealing the combustion chamber as uh, you can see this is the side view of the piston these are the three slots in which the three piston rings are uh, adjusted and uh, what happens is uh, when this piston is going up this piston uh, this piston rings is, uh, is is in this position in the downward position of the slot uh, it is free uh, it is quite uh, it is slightly free it is uh, not this much gap is there but yes it is quite uh, it is uh, quite f free uh, it is not just fixed inside it very very rigidly but yes it is quite free when the piston goes up it comes like this and uh, in that way the uh, this compre uh, this com uh, this pressurized uh, air fuel mixture is not allowed to come from this to this point because uh, in that it, it is sealing uh, that whole sec uh, whole section at this point so this whole ring uh, which is fixed like this is not going to let the air fuel mixture come down to the combustion chamber so let's talk about the third ring first third ring is the oil scraper ring as the name only suggests it is going to scrap the oil so how it is going to scrap is uh, uh, it is shaped like this there are two things and one is the spring in between them so the the two of these uh, uh, rings are the way when the downward ring is going to scrap the oil and the third ring is going to give the passage to this oil to get inside these uh, this uh, uh, this slot this slot is having several holes so that the oil can flow from that these holes and uh, when the, when these the oil passes through these holes it gets inside this piston ring uh, in, inside this piston head uh, like if this is the piston crown the oil enters from here and uh, in the, on the, it flows on the internal walls of this piston and then again it drops down from this to this oil sump but the question is how the oil comes to these walls it is scrapping the oil but how the oil come to these walls so what happens is this is the uh, oil sump uh, there is an oil pump which is pumping the oil from here uh, I will explain you the whole pathway of this oil later on in another video but yes uh, for now uh, for briefing that it is it is pumping the oil to each and every movable component so as to reduce the uh, reduce the uh, friction between them so when this uh, when this oil comes to this crankshaft bearing it also sends this pressurized oil uh, or it may it you can say it is sprinkling this oil to these walls when the piston goes up this uh, this whole oil uh, gets sprinkled on this wall and when this piston is coming down this oil scraper ring scraps the oil from these walls and this uh, oil gets entered inside this uh, piston and then from these holes it, it it get dropped down to the oil sump again so in this way this is hole is going to work now coming to the second piston ring the second piston ring is the intermediate ring. It is going to prevent uh, the uh, the pressure that is generated above uh, because there might be several leakages on this piston ring because uh, uh, there for the piston ring the piston is is like C. There is a cut inside it. So uh, due to that cut, the oil this uh, uh, pr pressure generated in the combustion chamber may leak from that uh, from from that space and then it uh, uh, then the, if the piston ring is uh, made like this. Uh, so uh, the holes are uh, not facing each other so that's where the uh, the, uh, the pressure generated will be kept constant without leakages so uh, it, it might help in preventing the leakage of that pressure 
and also it what it does is it is quite softer so that's why uh, than that of the first ring so that's why it can help in scrapping the oil if uh, some oil is left over even after this uh, oil scraper ring uh, the this uh, the second ring is going to scrap the oil uh, and the, then again the, this oil will be sent through this uh, spring to the uh, to the sump again so in that way uh, these three piston rings work so these are the major roles of this piston ring but yes i have noticed several other roles of this piston ring that i would like to tell you is that the piston rings also helps in uh, decreasing the friction because it, let us assume if there is no friction uh, if, if there is no piston ring so what happens is uh, this whole piston is going to uh, is going to go up and down and uh, is going to come in contact with these cylinder walls and if this whole piston is going to uh, come in contact with this cylinder wall and moving with that then then since the area is increasing so that's why the wear will on also increase of this piston yes the friction force will not increase but the wear will increase so in that case uh, if something happens if if, if uh, the wear is very much higher and uh, uh, some uh, some compression is leakaging so that's why then you need to replace the whole piston and also it will be uh, wearing the cylinder walls more so that's why uh, it it it, it uh, so that's why the piston rings are helping to reduce the wear and also one more thing since piston rings are cheaper so whenever there is some uh, need to change the piston rings it is quite easier to change the piston ring than that of the complete piston so that's why it is going to be quite cheaper and quite efficient process uh, for doing the compression and all the things so i think uh, this is enough about piston rings and uh, if you learn something new please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video please share this video to your friends so that they can also understand how and why piston rings are important and also if you like this video please 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 let me know in the comment section below please keep uh, give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel please uh, uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and also you can hit the bell icon so that you can get notified about each and every new video if you still have any doubts and any queries you can feel free to ask me in the comment section below i will be more than happy to help you uh, you can ask me on instagram you can ask me on facebook also i will be giving the link of those things in my description also and later on you will get to see now